Good morning, my friends. It's time for the Morning Mindset again. My name is Kerry Green. I am a retired pastor and a brother in Christ who is just here to help you, help myself, (laughs) get my mind right for the morning. You know, every day we have a choice to let our mind go the way that it would naturally go and devolve, at least that's my experience, that it devolves over time into a place of thinking according to old habits and old patterns rather than according to the truth of God. Today, I wanted to talk to you about reality. Now, it sounds like we may be getting pretty philosophical here, but I assure you that's not my intention. I just want to talk about what seems to be real and what is real. You see, there's this thing that we all deal with called emotion. It is a blessed part of how God has designed us as human beings. It is a uh, a thing that we experience that can be pretty strong, can be pretty overwhelming if you think about it. Emotion is one of those things that affects how we view reality, doesn't it? I mean, let's take an example. Let's say that you are uh, in a car and you're driving through an intersection and you hear the screeching of wheels and the loud sound of a horn that someone is laying on and your emotion is going to immediately skyrocket. And part of that is because you don't know the situation. You don't know what's going on. Is a car barreling toward you? Are you about to be in a car accident? You don't know the answers to that. And so your emotion reacts to the situation around you. Well, what if you discover that the honking horn and the screeching wheels are 200 yards down the road, not even in the intersection where you are? What is going to happen on an emotional level where emotions are going to start to simmer down a little bit? But you and I both know it's going to take a little bit of time, right? Your heart is going to be in your throat. Your chest is going to be pounding. You're going to be affected still by that emotional response, even though you are entirely safe. So you see, reality is that all the while you were safe, but your emotion was telling you a different story because of the lack of knowledge you had about the situation. Now let's take it into an everyday life situation. You move into some sort of scenario where you're feeling insecure. You're feeling a lack of confidence. You're feeling, and you hear that word being repeated, right? You are feeling certain things about yourself in that situation. Well, I want to submit to you that the same thing is true in this situation as was true in the situation where you were driving in the car. You're feeling things based on a lack of knowledge. Now let that sink in. You are feeling things based on a lack of knowledge. What is the knowledge that you're lacking? Well, in that situation, it may not be that you're actually lacking knowledge. It may be that you're not remembering certain things that you know. You're not remembering that you have been crucified with Christ. And you no longer live, but now Christ lives in you. Christ, the creator of the universe, the one who gave his life to conquer sin, death, hell, and the grave. He lives in you. He is your strength for that situation. Do you see how putting your mind intentionally on the truth, on the facts that do exist behind the scenes in the situation can change the way you respond. Now, I'm not saying that the feelings will go away. It's just like the car in the intersection. It's going to take a while for them to simmer down. But you have a place to set your mind, and that's where we're going to go tomorrow. We're going to talk about what it means to set your mind where it needs to be, and that you and I have a responsibility to do so. My friends, go out today knowing that your feelings don't dictate reality. God has done that for you. He has explained reality to you. Join me again tomorrow.